David Tamer, first of all, as a soccer fan, I must ask you, do you think Ibrahimovic should go back to, to, to the national team? I mean, I mean uh, Zlatan, he is the national team. So he do whatever he feels for and uh, want, you know. But, uh, yeah, right now he is in uh, <coughs> L.A. and playing over there. But uh, we never know with Zlatan, you know. So uh, he, he is up to him, you know. So uh, maybe, yeah, let's see what's happened. It's Zlatan. Do yeah. <laughs> you think the, the Swedish team would have gone uh, uh, better in the World Cup if, if, if he was playing last year? It has. It happened to be like that because you know, if Zlatan is there, maybe they have a little bit more comfortable. Like yeah, Zlatan is here. He gonna taking care of all the game. So when he is not there, they they are more. I mean, they have more responsibility. The players, you know how I mean. So uh, yeah, but uh, they play very good, and I'm very happy and proud of the Swed Swedish football team. I have uh, friends of mine that is in the Swedish football team, yeah, and uh, and uh, yeah, I also know, uh, you know, I know the guys Zlatan and all this. So we, we are like, uh, it's happy to that uh, they are from Sweden and uh, you know they represent and all this. He's, he has talked about combat sports before. He has tied with martial arts. Have you ever met him? Uh, we have the thing is uh, Zlatan. He loves he loves uh, uh, fighting, and he watch my fights. And uh, yeah, yeah, he. Uh, I have a couple of friends. They they meet him sometime, and uh, he talking good about. Uh, he say David. He like he like my style. So he yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, he are talking good about me. So he's yeah. Do you, do you think he's gonna watch Saturday? Maybe. I I haven't speak with him yet, but maybe why not? So yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but he have watched my other fights and uh, he like my style very much and he's talking good about me. So, yeah. He's a black belt in taekwondo. I, how do you think he would do as a fighter? You know, one time we, my friend, there was with him. This is Latin. You should come one day to the gym where we're training. And he said, like, give me six months, I beat every guy in the gym. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, nah, I think he will do good, you know. He have good mentally. He's like, a, he's thinking good. So he have a winner mentality. Like the, the, the confidence already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I think he will do good. I have to just learn him some techniques and then he's good. And then he's going to beat you. Yeah. Huh? And then he, he's going to beat you. Uh, in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, talk, 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 talk about your, your, your fights now. You're fighting Charles Oliveira, and, and I saw it on your social media that you were training with Melvin Manhoff. Uh, does that give you a hint of what you're going to try to do in this fight? Keep, keep it steady against him? I mean, uh, I have trained with Melvin Manhoff, but uh, I have trained a lot with, uh, you know, picture always don't say everything. You know, I have trained with uh, a lot of black belts guys. My trainer is Brazilian. Alan Finfo, Donacimento, he is like uh, over seven time world champion. So uh, I'm well prepared for this and I have trained with the world's best guys level in the ground, you know. So uh, I have done this sport for a long time and uh, I, I'm not stupid, you know what I mean? Like, so uh, I've done this sport for a long time and I know what I'm doing. So I'm trained, I'm well prepared. In the ground, in the striking, so yeah. Maybe you're, you're, you're confident on, on your ground after training with Info that you're going to try that against Charles Oliveira, or maybe that's not, like you said, you're not stupid and maybe that's not the, 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 the best game plan against someone like him. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? What, what can I say? I, I'm well prepared. I'm well prepared, yeah. He has lost, uh, he has suffered a, a, a few unusual knockout losses in his career. Uh, does that give you a hint and maybe uh, he doesn't take punch uh, really well and maybe that's that's how you're gonna win Saturday I mean for me is the winnings then how I win it's uh, you know it's what it's what it is but then I'm gonna win it then how I'm winning it's the it's not the most important you know but uh, 
Uh, I can, I can uh, promise a good show for uh, all Brazilian fans and uh, I'm really excited to introduce myself. Is there a scenario that keeps playing in your head when you think about the fact that uh, uh, scenario that's how you're going to win or you just really don't think about it at all? Just win is the most important. Yeah, and then uh, how I win is not the most important, you know, but uh, I know I'm prepared and I'm trained for this. So I've trained with the best guys in the whole world, you know, in the ground, in the wrestling, in the standing up. So, yeah. Last year on, on social media, you called out Jose Aldo when he talked about maybe moving up to, to, to lightweight. Is that, is that something you, you, you still have in mind maybe for F, uh, after this fight? You know, we are both professional athletes, so uh, I think that's going to be a good uh, matchup, you know. Why? Because Josado, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good striker and uh, I'm a good striker, so it can be a good fight, you know? So, uh, it's uh, nothing but, but with, the, you know, with, the, with a just sportsmanship, you know? Like, we are professional athletes, so uh, I think it will be a, a, a good show, you know, for the people. And uh, Josado is a very good, he's a good athlete. And uh, yeah, it's experience. So uh, it's gonna be. We have fight in the same tournament before. He fought with uh, Max Holloway. The both time I was also there. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be good. You're fighting now in his home country, and he's fighting Saturday as well. Do you think that maybe use that platform to to call for 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 this fight after you get done with Oliveira? Ah, yeah, I haven't think so far, you know. So just now I'm focused on my fight, but uh, when the when the, when they talking up when they talked about that when he gonna move to 155 when it was on the table, then I said uh, yes, why not? Like uh, it will be a good show, you know. We are both good athletes, and uh, you know, so uh, we are professional athletes, both of us, and uh, I think it's gonna be a good show, you know. He's talking about uh, his next fight is going to be on May 11th here in Brazil in the pay-per-view events, uh, probably in Curitiba Soccer Stadium. How does that sound for you? When he's going to fight? Uh, he, he's talking about fighting again in Brazil on May 11th here in Brazil in the pay-per-view events, UFC 237. How, how, how does that sound for you? Is that, is that a good idea maybe for you if he's up to moving up to lightweight? Yeah, maybe we can do uh, Teimur Aldo, May 11, Portuguese, uh, Bora Bora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, muito bom, muito bom, muito bom, muito bom, muito obrigado, muito obrigado, prazer, prazer, prazer. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you can say. Huh? That's all you can say. I have some more words, but I can say on the camera. <laughs>